update. This is a weekly reading for Aquarius. Um, this is the New Year's resolution or prediction. Um, and this is number three on the countdown. So I came up with seven different questions I wanted to ask so then it would give you guidance on what you should be looking forward to in the new year and um, what kind of resolutions you should have kind of get you in that mind frame or get you into that category of what it's all about so um, and naturally I came up with a word phrase sentence that um, that kind of summarizes the reading so I got one word for you guys and then I got some advice um, category of where this reading is coming from and New Year's resolution topics you might want to have anyway let's start off with the first question which is the main theme of the new year, which is the full in reverse. The full in reverse is lack of discipline, lack of restraint, wild behavior, addiction, mental health problems, and issues. So you might have a little bit, you know, you might want to, you know, have a bit of fun, whatever the case, and it might get to the point where you always need that to whatever degree. So it might be a thing, thing going on, an addiction. Addictions can be anything, so you're kind of in the midst of that. Excuse me. It could just be a point of wanting to let loose for a minute, but it could be like a lot of things that led up to that point. So, whatever the case is, I feel like it happened because of a reason. It didn't just happen on its own. So, let's see. We have departing energies from last year, which is the Emperor. The Emperor is um, rise to power, powerful people have interest in you, stable future, um, ambitious, achieving goals. So you probably achieved a lot, you probably got to a point where you wanted to be at for a while, and you're just kind of, you know, you're like, this is really pretty cool, I didn't think I'd make it here, kind of thing. So, um... Also, this could also lead to the addiction point of the of this upcoming year. Because once you get to the point of, like, I didn't know I could get here, like, you kind of look around and say, what can I do next? Like, you're kind of, like, lost for words. You're kind of like, should I do this or should I do that? Or, you know, you're kind of lost. You don't know what to do because you've already achieved the top of the mountain, like, you know, going any lower than the mountain is kind of a big deal. And then we have talent you will express this year. We have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is happy family, love which get, goes the extra mile, fairy tale endings, achieving your desires, perfect relationships, and marriage. So you could be getting married, you might be meeting somebody might be planning a wedding there might be a lot of other things going on but you know you're you're happy with where you're at so whatever the case is maybe you um, find a different avenue that you didn't explore before and you're kind of doing that also so it could be a lot of things going on it could be a lot of different things going on but um, I, I do feel like you're looking at more close to home things until you can figure out what you want to do for the long haul, you know. Then we have future opportunities. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups, um, naivety, ob obsessive, 
someone who overlooks the obvious for the sake of love. So there might be um, some some red flags that you overlook or something that you just kind of, oh yeah, that's not a big deal to me. And it becomes a big deal. You know, it's kind of like when somebody taps their fingers on a desk and then you look over and you're like, are you okay? And then they're like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just stressed. And then, like, they keep doing it and it becomes, like, obsessively crazy in your mind. Like, why, why do they keep doing that? And then it just becomes aggravating. To the point where you probably snap, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like that kind of thing. It's a nagging pit of doubt or it's a nagging thing. It's something that in the future will drive you nuts, you know? So just be aware. Um, I'm telling you now because it's going to be like this big thing and it's going to start a fight. So, you know, just try to explain it to them in the nicest way possible not to do that. Because you're kind of trying to keep your sanity and not look at them in a bad way. You know what I mean? You have to kind of angle it. So then it's not like hurting the person's feelings, but at the same time it's not getting on your nerves. You know what I mean? Um, so we have upcoming obstacles. So let's see. We have the Page of Cups in reverse. So Childish Approach... Emotional immaturity, fantasy, rose tinted glasses, someone who gets their own way. So this is, uh, you know, it's going to get on your nerves. <laughs> I'm going to say that. It's going to get on your nerves. Um, but I feel like the way that you're going to handle it is going to be kind of what the outcome is going to be, if I had to guess. So we have how to deal with upcoming obstacles. We have... The moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is, um, all is not, um, as it seems. It's not bad, um, you know, infidelity and unfaithfulness, dangerous situations, and negative energies. So, there's going to be a lot of secrets revealed. There could be a lot of things revealed, but it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. It might just be something that nobody told you about, or there might be some, you know, other things going around that actually, like, becomes a source of gossip. It might not even be true. So it's just going to kind of be like this elephant in the room until somebody addresses the issue and stops it. You know what I mean? Um... It could also be a mystery that you're trying to solve. I feel like it's like Scooby-Doo and the gang is like trying to find the ghost and it's like somebody in a mask. That's kind of what I feel like the moon in reverse energy is and how you're going to deal with the upcoming obstacles. You're going to just try to address it or find the phantom behind the mask, you know. Alright, so how to achieve your goals and dreams. We have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is rarely positive um, from the bottom and nothing worse can happen. Recovery, regeneration, resistance to an inevitable end. So, it just could be a... Um, it's just you going from one aspect of your life to a new adventure, I feel. So, the advice for you is probably going to be look for a new adventure. <laughs> you can put that in your, you know, New Year's resolution. Look for a new adventure, new avenue, new job, new um, thing to look forward to. Like, try to challenge yourself. But try to find something that's not so far out there that it's going to be unreachable. Um, Self-belief. Um, believe in yourself. Believe in the process that you're going through. Don't give up on it. Just try to be more disciplined. Grow from it. And try to proceed. Because there's going to be some days where you're on this path that's kind of going to be a little bit hard for you, I feel. Um, so it's going to also build self self-esteem and confidence 
And that might be a little bit hard for you because maybe it was not solid as a kid or maybe there was a lot going on in your house as a kid. So having self-esteem is probably going to be a very powerful thing once you achieve it and you feel good about what you've achieved. And then you try to move on to something else that might not have been as achievable or give you that much self-esteem off the boat. Um, so you might have a lot of struggle, but you should uh, always have self-esteem and stuff that you've previously achieved. Like I did that, like, holy crap, like, look at me go. And then use that power to, you know, help you achieve stuff that might not be as pleasant or might be a little challenging, you know? So with an overall conclusion, the word of this reading is alcohol. It feels like it's a constant fight. You're kind of fighting off things. Fighting off addictions, stuff like that. It might not be alcohol, but in any respect, um, alcohol could be involved. Maybe in a new adventure, first aid kit, there's rubbing alcohol in there. Um... In aspects of celebration, there might be alcohol, champagne, uh, uh, malt liquor, whatever the case. There might be some type of alcohol in your journey, is what I'm saying. So, it might not be you drinking, it might be somebody else, but it's going to play a important role on how you see yourself. And how you want to be in 5-10 years down the road. Whether you're going to be a drinker or not, that's entirely up to you. But if you feel like it's going to play an important role in your life or it's going to play a negative role, that's going to be entirely how you look at it. Um, and you're going to grow from that perspective, right? So if I were you, I would look for a new adventure, something that challenges me. Um, whatever your outlook is on alcohol, you know. That, that could play something into your New Year's resolution as well. Um, if you're for it or against it, it should um, kind of put your life in perspective. Um, yeah, I usually just do one or two. Usually it's about my diet because I've always struggled with weight. But um, I feel like it's going to be the same for y'all. You have to kind of have everything in moderation, I feel, and that could be a little bit of a testy subject, um, things in moderation versus things at normal capacity, you know. Anyway, um, Aquarius, I hope this helped you out in some way, shape, or form. With New Year's resolutions, you know, it's like, you have to have some type of guidance of where you want to go with it. And I get that. With mine, I usually just do a vision board of, like, stuff I want to achieve or what I feel um, as far as spirituality is concerned. Um, with my spirituality, I'm kind of a little bit more loose than most people. I'm not going to be like, oh, you had to do this and eat this. and Like, I, I do chakra diets because... I feel crappy, like, I feel like shit, I need to eat something else instead of cardboard pizza all the time. So I eat a cantaloupe or I eat certain foods to make myself feel better. And I feel like that's kind of the guidance you need. I'm not going to be like this namaste person. I listen to rock music when I meditate. I you know, play my bass guitar when I want to rock out. Like, I'm not 100% like, oh, I have to do this, or I have to meditate. or this. I meditate when I wake up in the morning, so then I can turn off everything that my mind is sending me that could be spiritual and stuff, so then I can talk to people and not look like a crazy person when I go outside and say, oh, blah, 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 and this happened and this happened. I have to tune into my own energy, too. You know, you have to be selfish. You have to be, you know, compassionate at times. But you kind of have to know when to turn it on and off. You know, and I feel like that's on the basis of the new year. It's like, you can never be 100% one way and 100%, you know, the other way all the time. 
you have to kind of find a medium that's manageable for you at the same time being charismatic and yourself at the same time. With me, I'm a realist, so I'm going to tell people that they're jerks to their face. I'm not candy coating anything. I'm not like, eh. On YouTube, I kind of have to not tell people that they're total this, that, and the others. But I use it manageably so then I can talk to YouTube and then have it figured out. If they want to do something, then they'll let me know. Um, especially with people that try to dish my you know, stuff throughout contents and stuff. That was a weird one. Anyway, thank you Aquarius, and I hope this helps you out, and I'm sure that you'll go through a couple uh, misadventures and some adventures that you might want to pursue. But it's going to be entirely up to you how you find your addictions and you find um, mental health problems about yourself, and you kind of handle that. I would say this, you're going to have your personal life and you're going to have your professional life in between two points. You're not never going to have them completely come together. It's just going to be separate aspects of your life. And that's what some people don't understand. You have to be able to separate things sometimes, you know. Anyway, thank you again and I will see you. Alright, later.